Hayes the Empire, Geo Boxing Empire, Boxer Boxing. Now, nah, man, after Deontay Wilder fought Robert Hellenius off the controversial knockouts with Tyson Fury, man, uh, in an epic trilogy, man, one of the best in modern day boxing history for the heavyweight division. There's a lot of doubts on Deontay Wilder if, uh, you know, he'd be the same fighter. You know, so much so that Alexander Usyk called him out. He said he'd actually fight Deontay Wilder, that he'd actually show up for the Robert Hellenius versus Deontay Wilder fight. Needless to say, man, Deontay Wilder stopped Robert Hellenius in the first round, man, with the first flush shot he landed, put him out cold, and guess what, man? Alexander Usyk was nowhere to be found, man. He was nowhere to be found, and, you know, no one told Alexander Usyk to pit Deontay Wilder's name in his mouth, you know? If you're going to call out Deontay Wilder and say how you're going to fight him next and how you're going to be at the uh, fight, and but you never show up, man, it's a bad look, man. It's a bad look. Deontay Wilder is saying things like, I believe in Alexander Usyk. He's a man of his word. Um, we don't, we'll see if he shows up to the fight. You know, I hear good things about him. I think he'll do it. Needless to say, the guy did not show up at all. And this shows that Alexander Usyk, you know, why was he talking about Deontay Wilder if he wasn't going to fight him? You know, this shows that Alexander Usyk was using his name for clout and he really didn't want it with the bronze bomber. You know, it's wild because when Tyson Fury, when he got stopped by, well, the first time around um, in the 12th round, when he got dropped, he got knocked out. He said, Tyson Fury, look at the press conference, the post fight press conference said he talked to Jesus. I'm not playing. He said he talked to God. You know, when Deontay Wilder knocked at Robert Linus, well, he was, Robert Hellenius, well, he was in Valhalla. He was in his uh, heaven for the Vikings. You know, Deontay Wilder's arm, his right hand, it's almost spiritual. Like, it's like a spiritual dimension. You know, he hits you and he sends you to this pantheon of gods. Whatever your origin, your ethnic origin is, he's going to send you to that god. You know, Deontay Wilder, his, his hands, I mean, he can send you to whatever god you worship. Does Alexander Usyk, does he worship Jesus? Or is it another Eastern European pagan god? We don't know. We just don't know. But all I know is Deontay Wilder, you know, if you're not Tyson Fury, he's sending you to another realm. You know, Deontay Wilder, man, you know, his power spiritually, I never seen anything like it. I never heard of a man who has the power to send you to, uh, uh, like I said, a pantheon of gods. You know, he might send you to Thor. He might send you to Odin. <laughs> he might send you to Poseidon. I mean, whatever you into, man, whatever, whatever ethnic origin you got, he's going to send you there. You know, is Alexander Usyk, is Usyk scared? You know, it's wild because Alexander Usyk's over here going to Russia, man, fighting in a war, quote unquote, at least with us, what they say in the articles. But he don't want to he don't want it with Deontay, the fear wilder. You know, he don't want it with the glas la glas. It means eye for an eye wilder, you know. Deontay Wilder has a lot of Russian sayings, you know. Does Deontay Wilder have Russian leanings? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I think Alexander Usyk needs to fight him. Maybe he's a Russian threat or something. I don't know. But, De but Deontay Wilder versus Alexander Usyk could be a big fight, man. And Alexander Usyk, like I said, it's bizarre how he can go to war, but he don't want it with Deontay Wilder. He can go to war with Russia, but 1v1 with, with, with the bronze bomber? Not so much. Not so much. Um, so I'm really disappointed in Alexander Usyk, man. Uh, Deontay Wilder said he'll reach out to the guy, but if Deontay Wilder really has to make it happen, then Alexander Usyk, you know, he has lots of gain by fighting Tyson Fury because if he loses, he lost to Undisputed. But if he wins, he wins Undisputed, right? A lot of people were saying things like, well, Alexander Usyk, you know, He's going to fight Tyson Fury, and if he takes the L, he's going to do a catchweight fight with Canelo Alvarez, which is which is a smart thing. I've seen some commenters say something like that, and I'm like, huh, that's a good idea, actually. You know, what is Alexander Usyk going to do? Is he really going to be fighting the best, or is he trying to get a check? You know, God knows, man, because while he beat Anthony Joshua, Alexander Usyk's reign at the heavyweight division is a rock, paper, scissors reign. You know, he did not look good against Derek Tresora, and that win with Anthony Joshua is never going to wash that away you know it's not gonna wash that away so as far as i'm concerned man deontay wilder is still that guy he's still he's still a knockout artist he's still everyone he touches people talk in mythology terms they talk about it like you wouldn't believe it unless you heard it from their own mouth you know deontay wilder after he knocked that rubber helenius 
I mean, he started crying and he, he started holding Robert Hellenius and he felt bad because Robert Hellenius basically said, he's done, he's not fighting anymore. You know, Deontay Wires over here ending careers, man. And, you know, the fighters are never really the same after Deontay Wires stops him. You know, after Deontay Wires stopped Luis King Kong Ortiz, his chin was gone. You know, he's making guys not want to fight anymore. Ever since Deontay Wires stopped Tyson Fury the first time and they didn't give him that count, even the second time they didn't give him that count. Tyson Fury is always talking about retiring. You know, these fighters, even if they manage to beat Deontay Wire somehow, somehow, some way, right? They're like, well, I don't know if I want to fight anymore. They start talking in mythology terms. They start talking about how they seen their God. I mean, it's just wild stuff with Deontay Wilder. You know, I don't think Alexander Usyk wants that, man. We, he just doesn't want it because he would have showed up, right? There's no point of calling a guy out if you're not going to show up. So it's a really bad look for Alexander Usyk, man. Everyone's saying, where is the champ at? Where is he at? And the fact of the matter is this, man. Deontay Wilder, love him or hate him, he had a resume for five years of defending his titles 10 times. And he has the notoriety of the fans. People know who he is. He has a good credit score with the fans. It, it's perfect. It's a perfect credit score, right? Alexander Usyk is a, a, a Johnny come late. He just, he just got the titles. And it's great. He, he proved himself. But how long can he really do it? Can he do it for five years like Deontay Wilder? I don't think so, man. Not not with all these killers out here. Not with fighters like George Royce, Danny Dubois, like Deontay Wilder, like I said, uh, uh, Tyson Fury. I mean, there's just uh, uh, Jared Anderson, uh, Big Baby Miller. There's just a lot of fighters that Alexander Usyk can fight that's big dogs. You know, can he do it for five years? There's the questions, man. I don't think he can do it for five years. I don't even know if he can beat Deontay Wilder. But the, fan, the fans want to see it, man. And quite frankly... You know, I'm probably going to make another video about it. But if Tyson Fury and, and Alexander Usyk fight, it might be a significant fight historically. But I guarantee right now, if Deontay Wilder and uh, Anthony Joshua fight each other, the fight will be it be publicly viewed more. People will care about it more. And while T Tyson Fury and, and Alexander Usyk might be a historically significant fight, Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua will do bigger numbers. I'm just going to say it right now. And, and it's because... Like I said earlier, Deontay Wilder, he has a great credit score. People know who he is. He defended his titles for a while, right? Payments on time, knocking everyone out. Same thing with Anthony Joshua, man. He was knocking everyone out. You know, uh, all of his wins besides uh, Joseph Parker by knockout. You know, if, if Anthony Joshua beats you, there's a 99% chance he knocked you out, right? Same thing with Anthony Joshua. He defended his titles for years. So all that being said, man, you know, um, Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wire, they just had they have more familiarity with each other, right? The fans know who they are. And like I said, while Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk might be for undisputed if they fight, it's not gonna do bigger numbers and it's it's just not gonna do bigger numbers, man. And I personally think that Alexander Usyk needs to fight uh Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury needs to fight uh Anthony Joshua to really get legitimacy from the fans. Um the, the these fires losing one time it's not going to take away from their accolades it's not going to take away from their accomplishments you know their accompl accomplishments far outweigh their losses and you know boxing is not about losing it's about how you lost and it's about who you lost to you know uh, anthony joshua while he lost to uh, some fighters he has a long resume of, of pretty great fighters you know unifications and things like that um same thing with deontay wilder um, and uh, Tyson Fury, he beat Vladimir Klitschko. He got stripped for the titles and everything, but understand that he was a former unified, he had all three belts, you know? So, in essence, Deontay Wilder lost in a basically unification fight. It was just unofficial because Tyson Fury, you know, he likes to do drugs. <laughs> he likes to do drugs. That's just keeping a buck. So, Tyson Fury and, uh, I mean, Anthony, Deontay Wilder lost basically to unification in, Ty in Tyson Fury, right? Because he got stripped of his titles. Anthony Joshua lost to a former undisputed cruiserweight champion, so he lost to a champion going up in weight, right? So th this is this these these are the problems that Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury face. They won big fights of the career. They're gonna go in to fight each other, but at the same time, people know Deontay Wilder, they know Anthony Joshua, and th th there's a story to be told, and it's a good one, right? U.S. versus U.K. and it's been going on for years. There's no real nothing really to talk about with the Ukraine and Britain. There's no like boxing rivalry there. There's just mutuality where we just want an undisputed champion, right? And it's and there's there's no buildup. There's just no buildup. It's not gonna be a big fight. It's not gonna be a big fight. Um, only thing that's gonna happen is whoever wins the fight is gonna turn into a Devin Haney. They're gonna be undisputed, but they're not gonna have. The people are still gonna say, well, 
what Devin Haney needs to fight Lomachenko, what Devin Haney needs to fight Javante Tank Davis. Same thing is going to happen with, with Tyson Fury and, uh, and Alexander Usyk. They're still going to have to fight their peers. You know, they're still, if, if Tyson Fury beats Usyk, for example, he's still going to have to fight Anthony Joshua. You know what I mean? Same thing with Alexander Usyk. If he happens to beat Tyson Fury, well, you still have to see Deontay Wilder because people are, aren't going to accept him as the best. They're just not. So titles are cool and all, but you still got to fight the whole division. You can't just fight one guy and say you're the best and, and call it quits. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Anyway, man, let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Tyson Fury, I'm sorry, Alexander Usyk and Deontay Wilder, man. Is Usyk shook? I don't know, man. I think he is. I think he is. He's been ghost. He hasn't said anything about fighting Deontay Wilder. He's been real quiet. And usually after these fights, these fighters weigh in on um, they weigh in on their performance. Now, Alexander Usyk's been real quiet, man. Real quiet. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Jewel Basket Empire. Peace.